by 8.30, it's probably best that you wake her, because she's sort of gotten herself into a schedule that's working for both of us right now. I wrote it all down. It's on the table, okay? Don't expect me until very late. I've got a full load at school this afternoon, and then I've got a meeting at the foundation this evening. Lucky, I made some snacks for you and Sly in the game oh. for after school. It's all oh. in the refrigerator, okay? But look, I'm sorry. Dinner is up to you. I think I can handle that. Just the thought of you coming up with a dinner menu just puts a chill down my spine. Hey, we did all right when you were in Beecher's Corners. Ah, uh, right. Just promise me one thing, okay? No pepperoni onion pizza for the baby? Man, she's gonna be bummed. There's always cheese fries. Oh, or that great Greek stuff. What is it? The, 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 the meat and, 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 and the, uh, the, the eggplant. The eggplant. M moussaka. Moussaka. Yeah, and then yeah. there's that other stuff, the feta cheese, and then that really Greek. What is that Greek food? The, you know, those little round things. Um, olives. Get some olives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, that's it. I'm out of here. Hey, wait, honey, before you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, there's something that, that, that uh, I should tell you before you hear it anywhere else. Okay. I think you should sit down. <sighs> so, are you sure you're going to be able to handle everything? Am I or am I not a functioning partner in this enterprise? You are, most definitely. Well, then just go and stop worrying. Okay. You, go immortalize those dimples. <laughs> What's with him? Oh, we're grumpy today. We don't want to fly coach. <laughs> well, it's absurd, Lois. I own a jet. It's cooling its engines as we speak, existing only for the next time I need it. Read my lips. N-O spells no. This is not EOQ business that we are conducting. We're doing this on LMB's budget. But I have never, ever flown coach. At least let me upgrade. Oh, Nedley, think of it as a character-building experience. You're going to look back on this one day. You're going to thank me. I seriously doubt that. Oh, listen, it's only an hour flight. I have a serious feeling that you're going to survive. It'll be okay. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, wait, Brenda. Um, business as usual, all right? I... I thought about it all last night and decided to release what you can't control. And since we have zero in the department of whether Sonny's going to be indicted or not. So let's just carry on and hope that his decency kicks in before LMB goes down the tubes. Okay? Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Okay. Listen, um, if he calls, should I tell him where you are? Mm. The less he knows, the better, I think. So just tell him that I'll get back to him. You've got our numbers, right? Right there. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Have a good time. Coach! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Coach is best. <laughs> Morning, Edward. You sounded in fine spirits over the phone. Yes, I'm anticipating an excellent day. Did you bring the papers I requested? Why else am I here? Let me make a phone call. Yeah, Sonny. Sonny, this is, um, this is Edward Quartermain. Yeah, what's up? I think you and I have reached a point where our uh, mutual interests intersect. Is that so? How did that happen? Well, Lois tells me that you might be anticipating some trouble uh, with uh, certain authorities. What does that have to do with you? Now, just listen, Sonny. Um, she also informed me that uh, you have repeatedly turned down Ned's request to buy your shares of L&B. I was hoping that was more a byproduct of your relationship with my grandson than of a genuine desire to maintain ownership. Maybe Lois talks too much. Well, that could be. But, um, I'd uh, like to discuss it with you if you're interested. Why not? Well, could you be by here in, say, uh, half an hour? About 20 minutes. Fine. See you then. All right. What was that about? You know, it's funny. Sometimes life gives you exactly what you need when you need it. I will see you later. 
Alligator. Did you forget your keys again? Hmm. Oh, Brenda. Hi, Lily. Listen, I'm sorry I shouldn't have stopped by without calling first. I heard that Sonny might be in trouble. And what does that have to do with you? Well, I came by to see if he was okay and if there's anything I can do. But you've already done that. I mean, if it weren't for you, Brenda, Sonny wouldn't be in trouble. Your anxiety's a little late, don't you think? I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Selective amnesia? You betrayed him. You wore a wire and you betrayed him. Up until then, everything was fine. There were no investigations. Listen, if you want to get into this with me right now, you better get your facts straight. And the facts are there was an investigation long before me. Mm -hmm. But there was no trouble. If Sonny's up to his neck in it now, he's got nobody to think, Brenda, but you. Listen, Lily, I have no desire to defend myself to you, so just run and tell Sonny that I'm here. <laughs> he would not care, Brenda. He is through with you, and he should be. You were ready and willing to inform on the man you claim to love. There is no forgiveness for that. Well, luckily, I'm not looking for your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And you won't get it from Sonny either. It makes me very nervous when you tell me I have to sit down before you will speak. Oh, honey, What is going on? No, no, it's nothing to be alarmed about. In fact, it's a good thing, I, really, isn't it? Isn't very it? good. Yeah, very it good. is. Apart from Sonny's situation, it's a good thing. Oh, great. Now I'm really nervous. What's going on? Well, you're right, exactly. I should just tell you what's going on. Because, you know, if I just spit it out, it'll be better than some preamble, because it'll sound worse than it, what it, is it really. It? Well, it looks like Sonny's gonna be investigated by the feds and there's a possible indictment oh my god you know through the rico thing and anyway to protect me and the club he's bailed out of the partnership you bought him out we don't have that kind of money exactly baby we don't have, exactly but don't worry no no i you know i had to find somebody who did have that kind of and you know, it's so hard to find anybody I could tolerate being in business with. Mike? No, not Mike. Although that's a good idea. No, no, it isn't Mike. Um, you like Dr. Collins, don't you? Kevin? You went into business with Kevin? No, not him. But you do like him, don't you? I mean, he's a reasonable, level-headed guy for a shrink, don't you I think? guess. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Because he's been in a partnership with her for a while, and it seems to, you know, for the most part, gone okay. Lucy Coe? That's pretty cool, huh? You went into business with Lucy Coe? You're right. I guess I probably should have sat down. You know something? I, I have to really be honest about this. I'm not happy. Honey, there's a big bright side. Show me immediately. Sonny's out of the club. Isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, but at what price? 
looks really bad for Sonny? Don't look good. I never wanted that. Is she gonna be all right, Dad? Well, cowboy, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I really am sorry. I know. Now, what about Miss Coe? I have misgivings. But it's your club. It's your problem. So, if I don't get out of here soon, I am going to be behind oh, kiss all me. day kiss long. Me. Kiss me. Thank you. Okay. Hey, listen. You know, we got it covered here. Got the home fires burning. Got everything covered. Yeah, that's right. Don't you do. I'm so apprehensive, Mom. Okay. Kiss me, baby. Give me a kiss. Love you. All right. Mom. <laughs> Love. Be straight with me, Dad. How bad is it for Sonny? All right. Everything's down on paper except dollar amounts. Now, if you reach a deal, just fill them in. And then both of you initial and sign and date where it's indicated. Mm-hmm. I appreciate your taking care of this so quickly. And you sounded pretty sure of yourself this time, Edward. <laughs> well, let's just say that I have a very good feeling about it. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. Oh, Lee, would you mind going out the side door? I don't want this to uh, look too premeditated. Mm? Oh, perish the thought. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Reginald said I should show myself in. Well, of course. Um, would you like some, some coffee or some juice? No, thanks. Croissant? Kipper? Kipper? Mm hmm. Uh, no, uh, I'm not hungry, but uh, let's just get the point. Well, of course. Uh, just make yourself comfortable. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. I hope you'll indulge me long enough to say something that I've wanted to say for years. I'm about to make you an offer you can't refuse. First of all, I'd like to express my sympathy for the, the loss of your young friend. And also for this terrible inconvenience you're facing. You know, as a, as a fellow entrepreneur, I know how pesky those government watchdogs can be, always nosing around in matters that are none of their business. I appreciate your concern. That said, I think that neither of us has any desire to see Brenda or Lois caught in your personal misfortune. Maybe, maybe not, but I could possibly be amused by it. Well, then I won't bother to speak for you. I wouldn't presume to. But I, for one, would hate to see either of those young women lose the company that they have poured their heart and soul into. And I think I've, uh, I've come up with a solution. This would be the offer that I can't refuse. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping. You see, I think I have a grasp on the dynamic of your partnership. Huh? <laughs> and if I'm right, then I can certainly understand why you would be reluctant to sell your interest to Ned. Hmm. That was never an option as far as I'm concerned. Well, then we're on the same page. We're walking on the, on the same side of the street, so to speak. And there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> see, I don't want Ned to have your shares either. Hmm? Uh, that ridiculous rock and roll career has been a distraction long enough. He needs to be back in the real world, uh, back behind his desk at ELQ, functioning in a position that I pay him, and may I say dearly, to perform. Well, this is all very interesting, but it doesn't tell me why I'm here. You'll sell your shares to me, of course. <laughs> that way, everybody will be happy. Except Ned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Either Sonny's not here, or you're just not going to tell him that I'm here, so which one is it? Well, Brenda, if you make a practice of showing up at people's houses unannounced, then I guess you do take your chances on reception. Right. Well, I seem to have missed the part where you moved in here. At least I'm welcome. It was a nice try, though. I watched you. Playing up to Sunny while Stone was dying. Using mutual pain to bridge a gap that you don't stand a chance of repairing any other way. Brenda, I didn't call you on it in deference to Sonny's feelings because I knew how important it was for him to grieve with the people who knew Stone best. But I do hope that you haven't deluded yourself into thinking that a few moments translate into absolution for what you did. There is none. Not from Sonny. 
You've seen the way he responds to Mike. And that was betrayal in his eyes as well. Wow. Who do you think you are, Lily? And what do you think, your sonny's salvation? Do you think that you're the answer to all of his needs? No. But he has chosen to be with me. That should tell you something. I can't listen to you anymore. Brenda, wait. I'm not your enemy. No matter how it may seem right now, I'm really not your enemy. You could have fooled me. I just want you to understand. You had your chance with him and you blew it. I'm with him now. So please, do us all a favor. Leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Lily, you're the one who's delusional. I'm so sorry, but you are not the great love of Sonny's life. What you are is a serious case of rebound. So you enjoy him while you can. Look at this big girl. How does she get so big? It's only been a week. Uh, bro, she eats like a linebacker. <laughs> She'll eat anything. Uh, but no pepperoni, okay? Don't give her any pizza. Pepperoni pizza for a baby? I never heard of such a thing. Well... Luke, I'm so proud of you with the interest you're taking in Lulu. Well, that's kind of a surprise, huh? The truth is, I missed a lot. We're just getting to know each other. And I'm kind of happy that, uh... Laura's schedule dictates that I must be mommy now. Why don't I give her, from my own personal stash, some animal crackers? Oh, she'd like that. But no pepperoni, okay? Oh. Laura will kill me if she eats any more pepperoni. Oh. I would think so. Oh, hey! What impeccable timing. Just the man I wanted to see. So, what can I uh, do for you, boss? Well, partner, it's more a matter of what I can do for you. Have you given any thought to uh, change the scenery? Well, why would I? I mean, it doesn't get any more scenic than Kelly's. Oh, please, that cheesy remark and 35 cents will get you a cup of coffee. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when she abuses me. Mm -hmm. Well, what, uh, what do you have in mind? The apartment above the club. Is empty now. I'm offering it to you in exchange for your vigilant presence. Oh. No, I couldn't. Why not? It's not equitable. Since when is that a consideration? Haven't you been paying attention, Luke? I mean, I'm not the same guy that rolled into Port Charles with a gleam in my eye and a con in my heart. I have been reformed by the love of a good woman. Oh. And besides, look, there, there's got to be something I can do to deserve such a great little apartment gratis. I mean, it, it doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm taking advantage of a pal. Well, okay, then. Uh, that's the way you feel about it. Anything come to mind? Well, uh, let's see. Um, Laura's being awfully busy, and, and you're having to take up the slack. Um, maybe you could use a little domestic help. Give me a break. You stop. You, you, you. Plebeians. I'll have you know that I am very experienced in this area. I mean, I was a live-in nanny. That's right. In Seattle for nine months. Kids love me. <laughs> Need I say more? I mean, what better recommendation do you need? Let me get this straight. You're saying that you would help cook, clean, and corral my kids. Correct. Crazy. Bizarre. But I like it.
Hi. Sorry, I'm in a bus still like that. Hi. Oh. Where are you coming from? I saw you from, from the lawn over there. I was on my morning run. I started feeling kind of queasy. I was wondering if maybe you had some um, aspirin or some vitamin C or some oxygen or something. Yeah. yeah. I do, actually. Thanks. <laughs> you know, Brenda, um, you look about as bad as I feel. Oh. Well, thank you for pointing that out. Here, okay. help yourself to water. Thanks. <laughs> so, Brenda, I guess uh, you're probably pretty upset about what's going on with Sonny. How do you know about that? Well, I, I, I live here. I mean, I can understand why you're kind of down, well, with your steak and L&B and everything. Mind if I sit? No. Mm. Yeah, I mean, of mm. course. Ah. But, you know, I, I also can't stand the thought of Sonny in jail, and I, and I really don't want him to think that I had anything to do with the feds coming down on him. What, what, who the hell cares what Sonny thinks? I mean, the guy... I'm starting to pick up some very disturbing energy here, Brenda. Please, tell me this is my imagination. Look, AJ, I'm sorry if I happen to care about the guy and you don't approve of that. Oh, kiddo, what does it take to get through to you? Look, don't even worry about it. Sonny is so otherwise occupied. Lily has her claws in him, that little witch, and she doesn't plan on letting go for a minute. And she's probably going to try and convince him that I am responsible for this, and he'll probably believe her. I don't believe this. You still love this guy, don't you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to say it. I can see it in your eyes. After the way this guy's deceived you, and you just forgive him. Please, tell me where I sign up for this kind of treatment. AJ, when did this conversation get to be about you? Well, you know, if I don't feel sorry for myself, who will? Thanks for the asking, Brenda. Oh, um, I want you to know one thing. Sonny Corinthos is, was, and always will be bad news. Like, I care what you think. It looks like Ashton is about to get some real bad news. Mm, my grandson is far too central to EOQ to allow this folly to continue. May I say, you have just cut yourself one hell of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it. Just know that if I weren't so fond of my granddaughter-in-law, I never would have caved in so easily. Well, I think I can balance the skills a little bit by offering an idea. No charge. Well, please do. You can make your money back right away if you concentrate on Miguel. He is currently highly sought after by a Latin American producer, promoter type by the name of Francesco Cepeda. Miguel's doing a tour for him right now, a very, very successful one. He is selling out concerts all over South America. His CD went platinum. The point I am making is Miguel is very hot right now. And it would be a good time for you to uh, cut a deal with him. <laughs> That's an excellent tip, Sonny. <laughs> Thank you. There is a, uh, one problem. Uh, oh, I knew that was coming. Since what you just bought isn't controlling interest, merely a majority position of ownership, you're going to have to convince one of the other principals to throw down with you, and they ain't going to want to play ball with Miguel's contract. Not to mention how much input and influence Ashton has into the situation. Well, then I'll just uh, have to be especially persuasive. <laughs> You know, I never thought I'd say this, Sonny. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Likewise, on both accounts. <laughs> We're both busy. <laughs> and this could have taken a long time. <laughs> Bad time? Oh, no, no, come in. Oh, this won't <laughs> take long. I assume you know that Lois spoke with me yesterday about the unfortunate situation at LAB. I, I promised to do what I could to help. Yeah, well, she said that maybe you were going to speak to the mayor about a timetable? I did. The warrants against Sonny are about to be executed. Oh. And if we don't do something to protect LB today, 
then you and Lois risk losing it. Oh, no. I mean, that's, that's not even an option. Losing L and B is not an option. Oh, I'm afraid it's a very strong probability unless you place as much distance between L and B and Sonny as possible. Now, to expedite that distancing, I have just paid him an outrageous amount for his shares. He sold to you? I have the signed deal right here. You mean it was just all about money? No, no, no. To his credit, and despite his antipathy for Ned, Sonny really doesn't want to take you and Lois down with him. I knew that. Okay, so wait a minute. Are you coming here to tell me that we're out of the woods? No, no, no. Not completely. Now, the next step is to transfer L&B into an independent company for safekeeping. You mean a holding company? Exactly. I happen to uh, own a few that I can use for such emergencies, and I've already transferred my shares in there, and it's just absolutely imperative that either you or Lois do the same post-haste. Okay, so your 60% and either one of our 20% constitutes two-thirds ownership approval to sell. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, since, uh, since Lois is unavailable, and since this transaction must be completed before the close of banking hours today, I'm afraid you'll have to be the one. But why can't I just vote with you to put L&B into uh, the holding company? That's still a majority decision. I was hoping to, uh, to spare you this, Brenda. But um, my counsel has advised me that your presence in L&B has become a liability. What? Because of your past association with Sonny. Now, now, now once he's been arrested, you'll more than likely be called in to, to testify before the grand jury. You might even be called as an accessory, God forbid. In which case, all of your assets would be frozen. Now, the only way guarantee the safety of L&D is to make this sale as swiftly and cleanly as possible without a taint from Sonny or you. Do you really think that they'd call me as an accessory? I think it's a good possibility, but I don't think you want to take the chance. Oh, I wish Lois was here right now. You sent her to me for advice. Here it is. Are you going to take it or not? Hey, Lily. Yo, Lily. Guess not. Whoa. Hi. You must have been right behind me. Yeah, I called you in the lobby when you were getting on the elevator, but you didn't hear me. Oh. Well. Preoccupied? I just wrapped up a very satisfying business deal. <laughs> what you been up to? Oh, I had my accelerated suit. What is this business deal that has you so cheerful? I, um, I sold my shares in L&B to, um... Edward Quartermain. <sighs> You're kidding. Yeah, well, you know, hey, you approached me, had the bucks. I was looking for a way out. I hadn't realized that. Yeah, well, I didn't want to hurt Lois, and this way I can <clears throat> stick it to Ashton. He's going to hate this big time. Mm -hmm. And Brenda? What about her? Well, you didn't mention the opportunity to protect her as one of your reasons for selling. She was here. Yeah, what for? She wanted to express her sympathy over the investigation and see if there was anything she could do. I told her she had already done it and to go away. You did that? Yeah. Yeah? I did that. Yeah? I like it when you get all tigers on me. You know? mm. Mm. I swear, if that's Brenda again. Hey, take it easy. No. Laura! Oh, 
I, I'm so sorry. I, I never should have charged no, 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 no. It's come fine. On, come, come on in. in. <laughs> come on Are in. you sure? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm yeah. just a little, you know, surprised. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me too. I'll excuse myself. I need to go upstairs. Oh, I don't want to run you off. No, not at all. And it's nice to see you again. You too. So, what can I do for you? Nothing. I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am. I know this is probably hard for you to believe. I mean, after all, I was the one who was most vocal about you ending your partnership with Luke, but I, I really am sorry, and now he's got Lucy. Into the fire. You think so? No, no, it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that, uh, um, I know, I never doubted how important that partnership was for you. I mean, how it is for you. And, and well, I, I mean, nobody knows better than I do that when things are working with Luke, <laughs> there's nothing like it. Yeah, I miss that a lot. Yeah, so will he. I hope you believe me. Because I really am sorry. I never wanted you to go to prison. I never even wanted you to get investigated. Yeah, I appreciate that. Very important new client. Oh, finally. They sent the right flowers. Hi, Vista. Hi. <laughs> Lois Marie Cirillo Ashton. So pleased to meet you. I'd like Hi, to introduce you to Mr. Eddie May. Hi. We're ready. <laughs> My word. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, pants. In leather. <laughs> They're positively dreadful. Make them go away. Uh, excuse me? I'm sorry, I, I don't think you understand. The pants are, uh, sort of my signature. <laughs> then your penmanship is in vast need of improvement. Off, off, off. Everything else while you're at it. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute, okay? See, because I... I feel like we're not getting off to a real auspicious beginning here. Because, you see, Eddie over... Um... Hi. Who's she? Excuse me. Why are you trying to get my Eddie out of his clothes? I've reworked the photo concept. My new approach demands nudity. Ah, uh, tasteful. Full. Uh, what? And you grin, would you? <laughs> Sorry. Just for a minute. Thank you. So funny. Um, well, we wanted Ditka because she's an artist. Maybe we shouldn't be so quick to just reject her ideas. And you like the idea of your bare butt displayed in every record store across the country? Huh? How come I never knew you harbored these exhibitionist desires? Well, I never thought about it before, but, you know, think about the mileage we, you know, we got with these black leather pants. I mean, think about what we can do with this. Enough! Uh, if you want boring headshots, I suggest you... Take somebody from the local 10-minute photo center. If you want genius, do as I say. Uh, no phones. We're in the middle of a creative crisis. Lois said she would be at this number. You're in charge, Brenda. Be in charge. You've got to make a decision. All right, I'm just going to make one more call. Okay. 
Sonny. Sonny, it's me. Hey, how you doing? Hi, listen, uh, Edward's here. He doesn't waste any time, does he? Is it true? What, that I, uh, sold him my shares? He must have shown you the purchase agreement. Now that you might be indicted. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's true, too. Um, why else would I, uh, give up my share of LMB? I'm so sorry about everything that's going on. Thank you. Listen, do you know what Edward wants me to do? I can guess, um, throw in with him and sell your shares to a holding company till this whole thing blows over? Yeah, so what's your opinion on that? Well, that's sound advice. Fallout from my situation could get messy. You need to shelter L&B, and, uh, Edward Quartermain has the resources to help you do that. Right. That's what I thought, too. Ah, thank you for confirming it. Take care. You too. <clears throat> okay. Let's make it work. You guys are gonna love it once you get the hang of it. What's it called again? Five card draw. Um, Does a flush beat a straight or is it the other way around? Gotcha. <laughs> okay, everybody plays their own hand, all right? She grew. Well, hey, there. hey, hey, hey. hi, Sly. How you doing? Hey, uh, hey cowboy. Huh? Say hello to your new nanny. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Well, I'll be, uh, I'll be taking over occasional child care duties in exchange for free rent for the apartment above the uh, club. If you don't mind. No, that's great. That's great. We'll rock. Good. Well, let me see what you got there. Hello, Emily. Hi. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You guys better uh, look out for this guy. He's a uh, hustler. Yeah, would you get out of here? He's blowing my scam. Mike. Will you please let my kid hustle in peace? Look, I'll show you up the dirty dishes. All right. How, how many? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not disputing the fact that nudity worked for John and Nyoko, okay? But you see, Eddie Main isn't going to be naked for any CD cover anytime soon, okay? See, it, it, it just doesn't track with our image. We're into a more mainstream appeal. Catering to the masses. Don't you have any vision? My vision is not the issue. See, our deal is, we did have one, remember? Why don't we compromise? I detest compromise. Why don't we just give it a shot, okay? Okay, first, lose the slinky model, okay? I'm sorry, Bye bye Okay, take a few test shots of Eddie alone, fully dressed, we hate it, We'll figure something else out. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Gotta love this. You got it? Got it. Got it. I must go on record, Ms. Cerullo. I am not in the habit of compromise. Or collaboration, for that matter. I understand completely. Fortunately, I'm the president of LMB, and in this situation, I've got creative control. So, let's get moving, shall we? Come here, baby. Stand right there, turn around, look beautiful, great, click, click, let's go. <sighs> Time's a wasting, show those dimples, baby, let's go. <laughs> Damn, but I'm brilliant, I've done it. <laughs> and what have you done this time, dear? I've got Ned right back where he belongs. <laughs> Tomorrow, will Tim be stranded with Al on Christmas Eve? The answer may ruin the Taylor Christmas on a hilarious new holiday home improvement, followed by a special Roseanne. At a special time tomorrow, here on ABC.